Okay, and welcome back. Um, the uh, This video is going to be about uh, setting up the uh, telemetry on the DX6 radio for the Sport Cub. And to remind you, we want to use telemetry to monitor the voltage of the LiPo battery. And um, uh, so that uh, if we're flying around, the LiPo battery gets low, and, we, and the, uh, sometimes it, even though you got lots of time left the voltage uh, can drop on the lipo indicating there's something wrong with the battery and you want to land before that happens uh, or if it happens uh, you want to land quickly so this is going to be to show you how to do the setup of the telemetry so to start with uh, we're at the main screen of the sport cub on our dx6 and i'm going to hit the roller button once and scroll down to telemetry. Click it, and you see uh, a list of 12 things there. 11 and 12 actually say something, the others are empty. And uh, <clears throat> number 11 reads the um, voltage at the receiver. So the receiver always has voltage on it, but uh, let me remind you a bit about uh, the electronics of an airplane. Um, the receiver voltage from an electric aircraft like the Sport Cub uh, comes from the battery uh, through the ESC or uh, electronic speed control. ESC stands for electronic speed control. Most all uh, ESCs have what's called a BEC, a battery elimination circuit, which allows you to power the receiver from the flight battery. So in this case the LiPo battery is supplying power uh, to the motor and also supplying power to the uh, receiver but the receiver can't take 12 volts. That's too much for it. So the battery elimination circuit, the BEC, supplies a steady stream of voltage at the voltage that the receiver wants and that's usually in the 5 or 6 volt range. Um, and so we'll see that when we test it. Um, so the number 11 is only going to tell you the voltage that the receiver is getting. So we want to have something to tell you where the uh, voltage is going to come from. And again, uh, just to remind you, we're going to use this um, sensor. So the, the um, EC3 connector here will connect uh, to the battery and then into the um, ESC um, terminal on the other end and um, so it'll uh, uh, have the sensor wire already wired into that and we'll read it so under number one we don't really want empty we want it to say voltage and so you get to this menu here and it says we want an alarm and the voltage uh, well first off we are going to have a, um, uh, a three cell lipo. So I want to change the lipo size from a one cell to a three cell. Okay, so flip over to three cell here. And that changes the defaults above. Okay, <clears throat> so it thinks the minimum voltage for a three cell lipo is 9.0, and that's about true, except we want a warning before that. If you got down that low, you might just drop out of the sky. So I want my minimum to actually be, my minimum is 9.9 .9 and I'm just going to round that off to 10 volts. So if we ever see 10 volts on the LiPo battery, we want uh, an alarm, which will be a voice alarm. Um, so that's the minimum voltage that uh, we're all get a voice alarm. Uh, the maximum I don't need a voice alarm on. Um, because uh, it's always going to be going down from 12.6 actually. 12.8 uh, is a little high. Uh, so the three cell LiPo, uh, uh, if it ever gets down to 10.0, even instantaneously, because it is an instantaneous reading of the voltage. So if you're at 100% power sometime and, the battery, and you've been flying 10 minutes, you might hit 10. You shouldn't, but you might. So the next thing is having a one-time voice alarm to me isn't good enough. So I want a status report. A status report allows you to get uh, the, the, a voice command 
uh, from the radio that says, tell me the voltage of the LiPo battery every so often. Okay, so 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, and I'm going to choose a minute. <clears throat> Less than that is, to me, uh, a bit of overkill. More than that, and you might miss something. So I use a minute uh, for a status report. And uh, so that's going to tell me every minute. Uh, remember every minute, too, um, based on the um, timer, you're going to get a report that says, you know, you got five minutes remaining and four minutes remaining. Well, um, this starts not based on the timer, but it's based on the, on the time that you plugged it in. So every 60 seconds after the, you plug in the battery, you're going to get a report. So you'll probably get one um, just before you take off or just after you take off. <clears throat> so that's the setup. Uh, 3S LiPo, every 60 seconds we're going to get a report. And if it ever gets down to 10 uh, volts, then uh, um, you'll get uh, um, a report. So that's the setup. I'm going to go back. And we don't need anything else, so I'm going to go back up and to the main menu. Now in the next video I'll uh, show you how you bind all this together and we'll do a test to see uh, uh, what it looks like and sound like. Thank you and uh, hope you enjoyed this one and stay tuned for the next video.